Welcome everybody to Our Green Acres. If you are new to my channel, my name is Teresa. Today's gonna be a fun video because I am a host along with Trish and Kay over at the Crafting Cousins. We're gonna have a playlist in our description box with lots of other YouTube creators with videos of upcycles, thrift flips, trash to treasures. So in my video today, I'm going to show you some thrifted items that I got that I'm going to upcycle for you and give you lots of ideas and inspiration of how you can decorate with them in your home. I hope y'all enjoy the video. Okay, the first project is going to be a thrifted item. This is, I don't know, it looks like a wagon wheel. It's, it's not wood. It's some kind of other material. But I paid $2.99 for it. As soon as I saw it, I thought this just screamed spring to me. Because I could see this, you know, painted and we can put a wreath on it. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to, you know, chalk paint it with some white chalk paint. I go over it with a couple of layers. Let that dry really good. And then I went over it with some sandpaper and I distressed it. Now I gave it a good little rough up with the sandpaper because I wanted it to look really worn and distressed. Now all I'm going to do to this now to decorate it is I'm going to add a little wreath to it. And I added a really rustic ticking stripe bow. Now this made a beautiful piece that I can hang up in my home. You could also put this on a front door. Like I say, to me, it, it just screams spring wreath. So I just wanted to give you an idea of things that you may see at the thrift store that may be a really unique item. Just give you more ideas and inspiration of how you can decorate and use them in your home. Now the next item I'm going to show you that I'm going to recycle is bed springs. Now a lot of this could be a trash. If you have an old mattress, you can take the bed springs out of them. And a lot of times you can find these in antique stores. And I got this from these from my friend Stephen at Stephen's Antiques in Rogersville, Alabama. He had $5 each on them. He had three of them, but he gave me all three of them for a really good deal. Now, you can paint these if you want to. There's somebody on my Facebook home decor page. She's got some cute projects she did with them, and she painted her swat. So, if you're not a member of my Facebook home decor page, make sure to go over and join it. Now, I just styled it with some little bird nests and also some little eggs that I, that I created, and I'm going to show you how I decorated these little eggs in just a minute, so stay tuned for that. Now I just want to take just a minute to tell y'all a little bit about the Thrift Flip Road Trip Open Challenge. This is hosted by myself and also Trish and Kay, the Crafting Cousins. Make sure to go over and check out their channel and their video. We're also all going to have a playlist in our description box with other great YouTube creators bringing you along where they're located, their location, wherever they are in the world, and what they repurpose, they may get it out of the trash, it come from the thrift store or yard sale, they may just be upcycling something from around their home. So everybody's working on recycling and upcycling projects. So make sure to go out, check out the playlist in my description box, and if you are a YouTube creator, the next challenge will be hosted on April the 9th. I'll have all the information if you want to join in, down in my description box. Okay, the next project I'm gonna upcycle is this wooden tabletop bookshelf. It is solid wood. I got it at Goodwill and I paid $1.99 for it. Y'all, anytime I find good wood pieces at yard sales or out thrifting, I usually pick them up because they can be painted in distress and the outcome usually looks so good. And there, this was no exception. If you are new to my channel, I lather everything down pretty much if it's got a good wood base on it with some candle wax. That's just a candle from Dollar Tree. Just lather up your piece really good. This will help when you go to distress. It really helps your paint lift off. So now with a couple of coats of white chalk paint, I just went over it with a plastic scraper to distress it. And now look how pretty this piece looks. This is going to be so pretty setting out. I'm going to style it with some books and we can always add to it as the seasons go by. But for spring and, and summer and Easter, I know I'll put some pretty florals on it and decorate it with some books. The white books with the key on them, that's a previous project. I'll try to find the video for that and link those below. But you can make your own vintage books so easy. 
The next project is another Goodwill find. Y'all, this was $4.99. This has a wood bottom and then, of course, a straw top. This is a, such a good little piece, and it's very sturdy. So all I'm going to do to this is I'm going to chalk paint the bottom of it with it being wood. In the top, I went over it with a few layers of uh, white spray paint. That straw top was kind of hard to do with my, you know, my bristle brush. So I just got my spray paint and I spray painted the top. I went around the edges of the wood a little bit with some sandpaper and just kind of just gave it a little bit of distressing. And now look how cute this little footstool is. Okay, the next project is going to be a yard sale find. Now, I got this bunny last fall, but as soon as I saw him, I fell in love with him. I paid $2 for him, and I knew he would be great for Easter and spring, so I've been so excited to get to pull him out of my storage building and get to work on him. And when we were yard selling, my friend Michelle, she's like, you don't want that bunny. He don't, he don't look very good, and he's got chips in him. <laughs> hey, that all the better, because you know when you get something like this that has chips in it, you can replace or repair it with your, your IOD or your doll's air clay, and that's what I'm going to do. And my friend Sherry over at Canterbury Cottage, she taught me this trick. You just get your air dry clay out, whatever brand you have, and you just kind of go in and mold it around to whatever you're trying to repair and just mold it around with your fingers as best you can. Let it dry. And once you paint something like this, usually your repairs will not be noticeable at all. Now, all I did to my little bunny was I painted him white. And, and if you're good at waxing, I am not a good waxer, y'all. I'm kind of scared of it. I watch tons of videos on it, and people can work miracles with it. But if you're good with wax, you could also go over him with some gray wax or maybe, you know, some taupe color wax and add some wax to him and all these little crooks and crannies. But me, I just left him white. I think he looks so much better than he did. We just refreshed him. I'm going to add some florals to his little cabbage. And these are actually some thrifted florals that I got. So all of this here is just thrifted items. But I think he turned out so cute. I added a chopstick bow to his neck. And now I absolutely love my little bunny. And like I say, he was broke. But now we fixed him. Gonna be myself, or I could be someone else. No one's stopping me now. I'm gonna skip my breaks, I'm gonna make mistakes. Now, the next project is something that I found, again, at Goodwill, and I paid $4.99 for it. This is an Easter sign that somebody made, and they actually just made it out of some different, um, some staggering pieces of wood they had. They painted it, and then they freehanded Easter and um, Happy and some little, um, you know, bunnies and eggs on it. Now, the colors up under this were really pretty. I love that blue. So when I went and I chalk painted it white, I just kind of left some of that paint where you could see it around the edges of the wood. So, you know, I wouldn't have to sand around and bring it out or, you know, risk taking it off with my sanding block. I just kind of went over it lightly with my paintbrush so that could kind of peek through. Now, I'm going to take one of my favorite Easter and spring stencils that I have linked in my Amazon store, and I'm just going to stencil this little cute little... Um, you know, Peter Cottontail uh, wording on it, and I'm going to use some ink um, chalk paint on this and, and just add a bow to it. I'm going to leave the wire hanger on it, and I think this turned out so cute.
Now I'm going to show you how we can take an inexpensive frame. Now frames are something you may have around your home that you can upcycle and a lot of times you can find these at yard sales and thrift stores very cheap. You can see I paid 50 cents for that one. I took the glass and the picture that was in it out. I chalk painted my, my frame and now I'm just going to cut a piece of poster board um, from Dollar Tree. This is foam board. I just cut it down to the size to fit in my frame and I'm covering it up with drop cloth. If y'all watch my channel for very long, y'all know I love covering foam board with drop cloth just to make a good background. And you just go around all the edges, the sides, um, the bottom, the top, and pull it really tight to where you've got a smooth um, finish. And then you're going to want to go over it again. I'm going to use my favorite stencil and I'm going to use the same chalk paint. Um, the color of it is ink and it's basically black. So I'm going to go over it and I'm just going to put part of that wording on it and then i'm going to show y'all my new iod this is the farmhouse um, the farm animals uh, stamps and y'all i've been wanting these for the longest so iron orchid design they they are an awesome company y'all if you ever invest in their products i'm telling you you will not be disappointed their products are very nice quality and when they send me things to 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 work with they always send me extra so you talk about a generous company they are so i'm going to be having lots of giveaways coming up so y'all stay tuned for all of that because i want to share these awesome products with all of you but I'm going to take the little bunny and you always, you know, prep your stamps before you use them with sandpaper. And then you just cut out the ones that you want to use. And then I just went over it with black ink. Now this did not show up as dark as, as I wanted it to, but I'm going to leave it. I'm not going to try to go back over it again because it's got too much little whisker detail and I'm afraid I would ruin it. I don't know. I'm not sure if I didn't put enough ink on my, on my um, stamp or what, but... Um, anyway, I think it looks good the way it is, but you get the idea of how you can create something very inexpensive for your home using thrifted or yard sale frames. Okay, another item that you can find all day long at thrift stores and yard sales is candlesticks. Now, I purchased this one at Goodwill. I paid $3.99 for it. You can see it was a Hobby Lobby $29.99 item. Now, all I did to this candlestick is I applied some white linen chalk paint to it. I distressed it really well, and then I'm going to decorate it with some little blinged up Easter eggs. So, stay tuned. I'm about to show you how to make those. Or I could be someone else. No one's stopping me now. I'm going to skip my breaks. I'm going to make mistakes. I just want to feel alive. It's just what I do when I'm out so. After I staged this, it looked so tall to me. It kept bugging me. So I realized you could take that top piece off to make it just a little bit shorter. So all I did was I applied a doorknob that I had. I'd already had it painted in distress, so it actually matched perfect. And I just applied it up there with some hot glue, but if you want more of a secure hold, you'd want to use probably a better glue. But just showing you another option for candlesticks or something that you may have, you know, a, a tall lamp um, post. I've showed you that before, but you can turn those into little wreath holders. So just another idea and more inspiration for candlesticks. Now I'm going to show you how we can make some really blinged up eggs. Now, thrift stores are a great place to find Easter eggs. Around this time of the year, they'll have big bags of them. So if you have a church function where you have Easter egg hunts, I highly recommend looking at the thrift store and get a bunch of, you know, bags of these plastic eggs. They'll be very inexpensive. So my friend Jackie from Ruth and Ruby sent me some beautiful fusion paint in pink and green. And I've used it in previous projects, but I'm going to add some totally dazzled a bling to nail my freshly painted eggs. And this just bumps your eggs up another notch. I'm going to leave my affiliate link to Totally Dazzled down below. And also a video link of Natalie. She's the owner of Totally Dazzled. And she did a Facebook Live the other night. So if you're not on their Facebook page, make sure to go over and join so you can catch all these lives they do. They give you some great ideas of how to use their sparkle and their bling. But she had a great live the other night on how she decorated her eggs. I'm gonna be myself, I'm gonna be someone else. Right, now I just want to bring y'all some really cute little pillow covers that I just recently received from Amazon. I'll have these linked in my Amazon store, and my Amazon store link will be in my description box, and also I will have it pinned in the top of the comments. 
But these cute little bunny pillow covers, y'all, all of these came. They're great quality. I highly recommend them. So make sure to go over and check them out in my store and they will be under the throws in the pillow category. So just wanted to share these little cute pillow covers with y'all because you know we're all about decorating our home right now, change out the season. We're gonna say goodbye hopefully to winter and we're gonna bring in Easter and springtime. All right, y'all, it's that time to tell y'all goodbye. It's at the end of the video, but I'm gonna be putting out another video in just a couple of days, so be on the lookout for that. On Tuesday, I'm doing another big collaboration with my friend Sherry over at Canterbury Cottage and also Julie at Julie's Designs and Signs. So we look forward to seeing y'all then to watch that video and also don't forget to go out and check out my description box for the playlist of all the other videos for today on the thrift flip road trip challenge so i hope to see all of y'all again on tuesday until then i love y'all and thank y'all so much for watching my video